In this video, we're going to take a look at the Victron Energy Blue Smart IP22 AC to DC battery charger. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. Today, we're taking a look at the Victron Energy Blue Smart IP22. AC to DC battery charger. This thing is awesome. It's great for your lithium batteries, but also works on AGM, sealed lead acid, gel cell, all kinds of different batteries. You can switch the mode to determine what battery you want. It is a 12 volt, 30 amp output. We're gonna take a look at it and we're gonna look at the two ways I use this charger. Right now, let's get into it. So the first way I use this charger is part of the system. You can see the Victron Energy Blue Smart charger off to the right right there. And that is part of our battery system to run our 2000 watt Renogy Pure Sign inverter. So this is an awesome system because it allows me to use that to recharge our lithium battery off to the left. But there are times when I want to use it just as a standalone charger. And so that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, guys, to use this as a standalone piece of equipment, I first had to unhook it from my system. So these are screwed in with uh, ferrules on the ends, terminated with ferrules. So I made a second set of six gauge wire that runs to the battery. And I'm going to charge this battery up because it's brand new. So you always wanna charge each battery individually. Even if you're gonna do a battery bank with multiple batteries, you're gonna to wanna to charge each battery individually. So I've already charged up the first battery, designed my system over here on the, on the left, and then once I kind of figured out my proof of concept, I went ahead and ordered the second battery. These WISE batteries, by the way, which guys, I'm gonna put a link down in the description below where you can get those, it's an affiliate link. Uh, but they are typically on sale, but you have to buy them one battery at a time. So I bought the first one, built the system, and I just bought the second one. So what I need to do is I need to charge this one up to make sure it's fully charged before I tie them together. So with that, it is time to plug in the Victron charger, and then we have to configure some settings in the Bluetooth app, which I'll show you next. Okay, guys, so it is plugged in. I don't know if you see the uh, light on there. So it is bulk charging the battery and it says lithium ion right there. If you were going to change it to a different battery, uh, you would hit mode and for normal or high charging or reconditioning an old battery. If you've got an old lead acid or AGM battery that needs reconditioning, you can do that. But we want it on lithium. Now we're gonna go to the app which I'm running on my iPad right here. So we're gonna select this charger and it's gonna connect. And this is why I love Victron stuff, guys, is you can just connect right to the, uh, the unit through Bluetooth. So it's really awesome. So since it's just plugged in and it's starting to bulk charge a lithium battery, what I wanna do is I wanna disconnect it from the network because it's not running in conjunction with my smart shunt right now to monitor the whole system. It's charging a separate battery. So I'm gonna go up into settings and then see this VE smart networking. I'm gonna hit leave network for right now. Okay, so right now it's just operating totally on its own. It's not trying to work in conjunction with any of my other Victron products, which in this case, is a smart shunt. So it is set to lithium ion. My charge current is 30 amps. And I am just gonna let this go until it gets me to the storage stage. So you can see, you can see that there's a bulk, then an absorption. I think this stands for recovery and then float and storage. So guys, just a couple of notes while I'm sitting here charging this. The charger itself doesn't come with any cables, right? It, well, it comes with the AC power cable that you plug into your AC outlet, but it doesn't come with any battery cables. So you have to make your own. It will take six gauge wire. 
and I highly recommend you put that wire in a six gauge ferrule. So uh, I'll put a link down in the description below where I got my six gauge ferrules and my ferrule crimper. My ferrule crimper is really awesome, guys, and it looks like this. So this is a two, four, or six gauge crimper. So you stick the six gauge right in there and then it just ratchets closed until you get it all the way and then it will release. And then that ferrule allows your bare wire to be all together. You don't have one strand sticking out. You're not gonna have a short or anything like that if you use ferrule. So I highly recommend you use ferrules. So I'll put a link to the ferrule crimper and the ferrules. I'll also put a link to the six gauge wire that I was using and then the battery lugs that are connected to the battery. Basically, once I get this all done, once that battery is fully charged, I'm gonna confirm that the first battery is fully charged and then I'm gonna tie them together and have a 200 amp hour system at 12 volts. That's gonna be a lot better to run this 2000 watt inverter than a single battery. But like I said, since these batteries are on sale, but you can only buy them one at a time, it makes sense to, you know, buy them one at a time, save some money. When I do tie the batteries back together, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna change things in the app. I'm gonna tie it back into the uh, Cargo Camper network, and you can create your network to create anything you want so that you can tie it in and it can get uh, information from the Victron Smart Shunt, which I have down there, or any of the other Victron, Victron products that you have. If you're running a Victron DC to DC charge controller off your tow vehicle or your RV alternator, or if you have any Victron Energy solar MPPT controllers, all of those things uh, work together and network together to share information. So when you're using this charger as a standalone charger, you probably wanna turn that off so you're not confusing the smart shunt or confusing anything else. But if you're using it as part of a system, make sure you reconnect it. Another handy thing, guys, when you're working with cables is to get yourself a nice pair of wire strippers. And this is for six gauge to 12 gauge wire. And it's a really nice uh, wire stripper. So I really, really like that, as well as a really nice set of wire cutters. And I'll put a link down in the description below to my wire cutters and this pair of strippers. All right, guys, it's been a couple of days. I've let this thing charge up. As you can see on the Victron Energy unit, that light is lit indicating that it's at storage, which basically means it's maintaining the battery. And then over on the app, as I move the camera here, let me go ahead and zoom in here. There we go. You'll see that the app is indicating that the battery is in storage mode as well. So it is fully charged. And so I can unhook that battery now and then tie the two batteries together and then hook both batteries back into my system. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to work on that and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so we are back. We have the two 100 amp hour batteries hooked up in parallel. So we have 200 amp hours at 12 volts to power the system. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the refrigerator and lights in my trailer off my inverter, and I'm gonna see what that draw is using the Victron Smart Shunt. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to plug in the Victron AC to DC charger, the Blue Smart charger, and then you're gonna see how that changes. So let me get the camera set up uh, and zoomed in on the iPad, and we'll see what we get. Okay, here we go. I'm going to flip the switch on. Okay, and we can see that we're running 130 watts out of the inverter. I'm going to go turn the lights on in the trailer to just increase the amount of power. So we're drawing about 9.4, now it's going down 9.2 amps off the system right now. Okay, so everything is on in the trailer right now. So we're drawing 183 watts. And so 
you can see the time remaining at, well, it keeps going down, but it was at 19 hours, right? So 18 and a half. And as it consumes power, it will get a little more accurate in its, in its calculation. But as you can see, we're drawing power on the system. Now, all of this data is off the Victron Smart Shunt. It is not off the Blue Smart Charger because the Blue Smart Charger isn't on right now. But I just wanted to show you what the energy consumption was. I'm going to plug in the Blue Smart Charger and you're going to watch all of those numbers change because instead of drawing 13.65 amps off the system, we're going to be adding system power back into the battery. So let me plug that in and you'll see the numbers change. Okay, so now you can see that there are positive numbers on the system. So we're not drawing power out of the batteries as much as we're running off the Blue Smart charger, right? So what's awesome about this then is that if you are plugged into shore power, but you're still running off your battery banks, if you're not drawing more than 30 amps, you're basically running off your smart charger. If you are drawing more than 30 amps, you're obviously going to use the 30 amps out of your smart charger and then whatever remaining out of your battery system. So you can drain your batteries less quickly that route. So now that you see what the smart shunt is doing, I'm going to switch over to the blue smart charger screen so you can see what's going on there. Okay, so it's connecting. And as you can see, it's putting out 13.7 volts at 30 amps. While it's doing that, let me show you the history because I think I forgot to do that. So if you see basically where we're at right here on the far left is the active cycle. That is the one that we just plugged into. So it's doing a bulk charge, which is basically it's putting out power because the system is drawing power. But if you see the big bar next to it, right, right here, right, that one was our completed charge of the new battery. So you can see that it did uh, a significant amount of time uh, of bulk charging and then uh, went into the absorption uh, float and storage stage. So, uh, You'll get a different uh, cycle every time you plug and unplug the system. So keep that in mind. If this is something that you have installed in your RV or travel trailer and it's unplugged, uh, every time you plug it in, it'll start a new active cycle, but you can track and see what you've done. Plugging it and unplugging it doesn't hurt it at all. It remembers even when it's unplugged. So it remembers all the settings. So you don't have to choose lithium ion battery every time uh, and that kind of thing. So. Now you can see a lot of those cycles were really short cycles as I was testing different things in the system uh, when I first got it. So in the future, I imagine most of my bars will be pretty high as I have the system plugged in, either charging the batteries or I'm on shore power at the campground, so I'm charging the batteries even when I'm using the system. So that is a look at the app and the Blue Smart Charger. Well guys, there you have it. The Blue Smart IP22 charger from Victron Energy is an awesome charger. I really like it. Uh, I'm probably gonna end up with another one because this one's gonna be permanently mounted in my trailer to maintain my batteries when I'm on shore power or running off my generator. So I won't have one in the shop to just take care of other batteries. And I really like the reconditioning feature I have some AGM batteries. Uh, I have an AGM battery in the, the Kemp bus, my Nissan NV. I have AGM batteries on the trolling motor for the boat. Eventually those are going to be lithium as well, but for right now they're still uh, AGM. So if I ever have to recondition any of those batteries, I definitely want one of these Victrons laying around in the shop where I can just hook it up to any battery I need to and run it accordingly. Love the Bluetooth feature. I love that it syncs with the other Victron Energy components. Guys, Victron is not the cheapest on the market. That's for sure, you can get chargers that are cheaper, but the Bluetooth compatibility, the way they interconnect with all the other components in the system, super cool, super easy to use. 
I love it. So I'm going to put a link down in the description below where you can pick one of these up. It is an affiliate link. When you use my link to purchase, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it's a great way to support Kemp outside as I get a little commission on the sale. So just keep that in mind. But love, love, love the Victron Energy Blue Smart Charger. So if you want to get one, be my guest. I highly recommend it. And guys, we are going to be doing a lot more on this 12 volt system for the cargo camper. We are going to be putting, I'm approximating about 1200 watts of solar on the roof. We're going to have a total of four uh, 100 amp hour batteries on the trailer. We're going to be running uh, a bunch of stuff off the, the battery bank. So uh, really, really excited about that. We're, we're doing all the work to, to get the trailer ready for all this. So if you like 12 volt systems or you like solar or you like uh, cargo to camper conversions or whatever stay right here at camp outside by hitting that subscribe button if you like this video give me a thumbs up and ring that little bell that notifies you when we release new videos i'm kevin with camp outside your inside source for all things outside we exist to help moms and dads take their kids camping hiking fishing learn about nature and develop a conservation ethic we want to help you get you and your kids outside so if you have any questions about this charger or the 12 volt system in general or anything drop some in the comments we'd love to hear from you or you can connect with us on our other social media. We're on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and X. Or you can connect with us at our website at kempoutside.com. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.